Hello guys and girls, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, let's play with Grimord. Uh, I just recorded an episode but I actually forgot to turn my mic off mute, which is very annoying but I didn't get massively far into the depths, uh, better than some other runs but you know, average items I wouldn't really got too far to be there. This is what I want, straight away off the bat, Polyphemus, one of my most favourite items, oh, can't go wrong. So already I have a feeling this is going to be a better, better run. So I do have to explain again what, um, what's been going on with myself. I've been ill lately so I haven't really been able to upload any videos. So unfortunately, um, yeah you guys have been a bit short on that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record like 20 videos, all with the sound being recorded and not with a mic on um, mute because if I do that you won't be able to hear me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that, and then there'll be a 20 odd Binding of Isaac videos, which should be quite handy, and Lifesteal as well, which is good. Um, yeah, so at least you'll, you'll have a few videos, and for new people, they'll have a chance to properly see what my page will be about, rather than the odd video, but you can't really judge, judge on that, so yeah, um, should be, should be quite good. Um, got a few hours today so that's why I'm doing it. Uh, what I was saying in the other video as well, I've got to try and remember it all now. I work 12 hour days so it's quite difficult, oh, tears down, that's annoying, uh, quite difficult to get videos out um, during those days but I will try and get a video a day when I'm working, whether it be Isaac or something like that. But as of this weekend, like I'm probably going to get into this, I'm really going to push for it, so you'll get a video a day, uh, whatever it may be, um, probably alternate daily, um, I'm going to start up something, probably Minecraft, uh, Technic Pack, because I do love Minecraft and who doesn't, um, but I'm also going to do some Let's Look at Torchlights, Borderlands, Guild Wars, um, and a few other indie games which I've got from Humble Indie Bundy which I mentioned. Humble Indie Bundle, sorry, uh, which I mentioned in the last video. So, yeah, we're gonna really start building this page up and yeah, just go go and start getting the videos out. Um, I've got a a friend I might use in some as well. Um, it's always good to have someone else on the videos sometimes. Um, gives you the option to play multiplayer games and stuff like that. So I know he's up for doing it. We'll do that, and we're going to get cute meat early on, which is always good. I like getting cute meat early on because it gives you the chance of getting high-level meat boys and stuff like that. So I can't complain getting that early on. Right, there we go and then and run and awesome. Um, yeah. So this weekend you'll start seeing a new series on here. I would like to start doing some Let's Look Outs, but I am not big enough yet to do that. I am not going to get, you know, the invites which let me do the Let's Look Outs. I'd like to become quite indie based though as well. Um, I know it's a niche in the market and I will play some big games, but I'm a big fan of indie games, so that's always going to be a bonus. I'm going to get here, which is basically one shot of Brimstone that great but okay, any, any extra well as I said in the video which um, recorded but didn't record sound um, any extra spacebar item which you get is a bonus because they are quite rare at this stage this more like this one anything else because there we go um, yeah, so what I'm getting kind of used to in these videos, I've noticed, is oh, spirit heart. That's quite nice. Talking and playing. It's probably see. I'm done it again. Um, spending too much time thinking about what I'm going to say. So I'm just going to kind of try and wing it a bit more, and maybe not explain so much as what I'm doing, because most people who are going to watch these videos aren't looking, especially if they're watching the Let's Play series, aren't looking for. Um, looking for what everything does mainly, they're going to be got like two spawn on these. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just try and wing it a bit more. So, uh, my personal kind of 
comedy style is quite difficult to get across on videos purely because I'm more of a kind of bounce off someone else sarcasm sort of guy. Um, you will you will see it, especially on videos I haven't played before, because it's going to be that air of unexpectancy, and you don't really know what can happen. But on these these videos where I know what the game is about, it's a bit more difficult to peep and um, get that across. So I will try and um, be as witty as possible, but it is going to be difficult. Almost as difficult as dodging peep here for me, apparently. Okay, he's going to go down quite quickly and I'll get the box. Or the crate, or whatever you want to call it. So we've already had a tears down pill. And there's another nice pill for us. Got the chariot. And ace of spades, I can't remember what it does. But I'm going to take the fork just for the heat every now and then. And the chariot is a good item. Um, yeah, to, to have you know, inventory is also another pretty early game. Uh, game one. Uh, you going to get me there, won't you? I've got to mention there that I've got growth form wins, which is an, a very nice upgrade. So never complain about that, and I'm not going to complain about the rock either. A couple of pretty good, good moments there for us. Uh, I didn't mean to open that, but thankfully I got a key out of it. Not really making the shop a possibility. I haven't checked for a secret room. Probably going to on this level somewhere because I've got the ah oh, stupid damage again. Um, I've yeah, got the uh, bombs for it now, so might as well make the most of them. Ooh, you're dead. Um, Isaac's fork is quite nice. I mean, it doesn't prop too often, but yeah, it's good when it does. A little bit of healing. If you're relying on red hearts, sometimes that happens. It's quite good to have. I don't know where they're. Well, I'm not going to say that and jinx it, but I think I know where the secret room is going to be. Uh, I hate this room. Ah, oh, that's been a bit stupid. There we go. Nice and easy. And get some gold here as well, which would be quite nice. Gold coins. Okay. Too much torture to. Um, we're going to use a bomb and a key here, and we're going to use another key for the secret room because I've got them to spare. And that was quite nice. Wish I had it slightly earlier, but can't complain. And uh, how does this work? Technology 1. I never. Wow. I never ever get Technology 1 in an item room. Never had it in my history of Isaac. So I'm not going to be too sure how this works with we got the, we're going to make a shop option as well. Yeah, not sure how this works in line with Polyphemus, but as you can see that is one hell of a beam. So the, the fire rate as well. I'm not gonna lie, this should be a good run. I should quite easily make this. Yeah. I, I can see this being a good run now. Um ecstatic about getting that. Uh, oh, and we've got another pill, which is poison type. Never about that. Oh, we've got a double prop because of that as well. I would like now, pure and simple, um, health. Yeah, health or some way of getting spirit hearts. That would be nice as pie for me. But other than that, this has turned out to be a Right, run. I'm just, yeah, just thinking here. Anything else that I would like, but this this two effect is amazing, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's gonna be. Ooh, we've got the. We're gonna, definitely gonna take the spirit heart. What happened there? I have no idea what happened there. Oh, no I do. Ah. Oh. That spirit heart was a slight waste there. Do you even pay attention? Right, we're going to take the treasure map and we're going to go. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit annoyed about that, but my own stupidity again. I'm not really paying attention. I can't get over the fact that heap is nice. Okay, let's hide down there. I'm going to get the chariot on as well. Might as well. Uh, yeah, that was 
nice and easy. And ask and you shall receive. Dog food. No, none of them. I'm not I'm not too keen on Sheep the Weep at the minute because I'm not really going to use it. I want something which gives me spirit hearts. So, look at that. I don't need Sheep the Weep, do I? Let's be honest. Um, Herefin, that's nice. That's two spirit hearts right there. We know where the secret room is, so we're going to bomb our way in there. One thing which really annoys me with the treasure map, why does it only show... Oh, that's nice. Uh, why does it only show the first room, um, the secret room? Surely it should show the second one as well, because it is a bit redundant. For the most part, you can guess where the secret room is, although that one's in a bit of an odd place. You know it's going to be between two rooms somewhere, so... Why have... Yeah, it just seems a bit... I wouldn't say redundant, but... I said that after getting it as well. But it just seems a bit... Like, it could be a bit better, basically. I think that's what I'm going to say. But, yes. Like I say, it just doesn't make too much sense. So I'm going to use the bank a little bit, because I want health, so... I'm going to get myself some coins for the shop, but also I'm going to try and get a blood bag. Don't know what that was for, but Mum's pill bottle. I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to make the shop worthwhile yet. We're going to open it to see if I should be paying it more though, so I think at this stage greed is probably an option. Nope. Game wants to be like that. It gives you super green instead. But I cannot complain with the amount I got from it and what I got from it. So basically, we're just looking for the item room here because we found everything else. So it is just a case of can these combo lines all in one go would be nice. And there we go. Yeah, let's just find the item room. Uh, also going to play the blood bank more as well. There we go. Just yeah, I want that. Ooh. Revelations. That'll do me because I am now going to get enough cube of meat. Can't complain at that, can I? And rotten meat as well. I would like the other one, which I forget the name of, which gives you um, the tears as well. But this one is awesome. I'm not. I. I've been very lucky. I've asked for health upgrades. I've got health upgrades. Asked for um, tier damage upgrades. Got damage upgrades. Asked for something which regenerates spirit hearts because that's what I really need. Got something which regenerates spirit hearts. And early on, I believe I said. Oh, that's annoying. Um, that cube of meat is awesome getting it early on because you have the chance to get it up to a higher higher version and it's gonna happen as well. So and we've got poops either, so a nice little familiar. There's nothing nothing special but to be fair at the minute I'm not gonna complain about anything. I've, I mean I've got the rock as well which I forgot to mention which was nice and I didn't even realise there was a tainted rock there. I would have found it but I think this is probably one of the best runs, dare I say, I've ever had. Um, even when I was playing before, and it's a bit frustrating. I can't go on to, you know, a, a cathedral or anything like that because I would like to. I would just build up a bit of money here because this isn't going to pay out. Um, I'm not going to take that. That's not the blood bag, is it? Um, silly damage, but. Dead. And that is an angel room, which is also very nice. I'm going to be very careful when I get around here and here. What can I get? Sacred Tears. I have no idea what this item is. Sacred Heart. Um. Yes. Yeah, do you guys want to say anything? But that's the point of the bank. Um.
I've heard about this. Um, Northern Lion talks about all the world. He says sacred tears, but I think he means sacred heart because I have just had. Ooh, downside. I don't know where the catch point is. Um, yeah, I've had one of the best runs I've ever had. I can't get there where it hits though which is the only frustrating thing because it's so big but you know I've got Pete uh, Psy which is a nice familiar I've got Meat Boy which is another nice familiar I'm gonna get Roid Rage I have no idea when these hit points are that's nice so. my tears are too big see where, where is it hitting on the bus it's not gonna matter too much because the bus is a have bigger hitboxes, but I think it's a bit overkill, isn't it? I can even do that. Ah, oh, zombies are one of, my, one of my most frustrating things. Being able to do that to them is awesome. Right, we're just going to power through here. Item room can't really can't really do much better, to be fair. Just play this a couple of times, just six times, try and get a spirit heart. Justice. Twenty-five now. I can't. Cannot be. Well, I don't need to see if Rage is hoping for loads of spirit hearts because I've got the damage to to not worry about it. Um. Here we go. Just that. Keep side. Yeah. Um. I am a bit awestruck, really. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I honestly don't know what to say. This is an absolutely astonishing run of run away from you. Thank you. And round, 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 down. Whoop. Disaster. There we go. Right, so we've got the Iron Room boss room. I've got to, got to try the shop. Nah, not even worth it. That's, um... Crack from the sky, crack, no, crack from the sky sounds horrible, but no, I'm not sure that is name wise, but I know that just fires the beams down from the sky, which at this point is not worth it because the reflection has given me a way of regenerating spirit hearts. There we go. Uh, so we're just going to run here, hope, hope the shop is there. That was nice. Um, I'm just power one up and take because that does. Way! I hate how it does that cheeky little shot. Mum's purse, this is an extra trinket space. We're gonna take a spirit heart, take a key, and we'll take this, which is the hangman. Hangman is not a bad it's felt not bad thing with no way of getting over the gap, so I can't complain too much of that. I'm just gonna run through these to be there and pop the hangman. There we go. Honestly, I'm I am still all struck. My enemy's dead. I'm dead. Okay. Another pill. I don't know what I want. I'm not going to complain at anything. To be fair. Oh. Yeah. So um, we're just going to carry on here. I like I said, I can guarantee we'll beat Mum. I pretty much guarantee we'll beat Mum's heart and. If I don't, you guys have the right to give me an absolute torrent of stick on the the YouTube page because this is an awesome run. I'm also gonna have to think of a weird name for it, but we're gonna get war here. Oh, he wasn't he dead already. Sorry, sorry war. Um there we go. Meet <laughs> meet boy, third level. We're gonna get mum and then I can Use the Bible on the womb one, I think, and get the next level of Meat Boy, which I'm never going to complain about. Place that there. Unicorn horn. I honestly have no idea what is better. 
I'm gonna go. I don't need the damage, so I'm just gonna go. Um. Yeah. So. I've. I mean, I've seen some good runs, but it's quite frustrating how I've not actually got the opportunity to take on the. Um, the higher levels with this because it would destroy. Don't worry about that damage too much because I should be pretty safe. But yeah. Mum's bra. Yeah. We were back. We were going to get one duff on one. We? we can't have everything our own way. I'm going to go straight in here because I have no reason whatsoever to look around. Don't need to. And that was nice, HP upgrade. Um it's a tough run, tough run. Probably gonna get this done in about twenty five minutes, so it's not too bad. I've just gotta guess the right way and stuff now. It's just a case of doing that and that should be nice and easy. Anybody can help if he wants to, but I know he struggles with stuff like that, so Angel Felix is dead. Dead and dead. Uh, I'm not even going to bother to be honest, not worth it in my eyes, um, it is worth getting this however, well, it might have maybe things to be uh, to fair, what's quite, ooh, quite interesting is, is Peep, uh, Peep's eye, does that have poison on it as well? boy thank you um yeah if anyone knows that just pop it in the comments because that would be intriguing to know well not intriguing but you know, if you stop going up and down you vagina cysts um yes yeah, so we're just kind of cutting off all the dead ends here we're not going to go in any of their rooms i think it's going to be possibly the top one Now, um, like I can say the game. The game's got to screw me over in some way because it's been way too nice so far. Um, something like the Bible would be quite nice, I suppose. Yeah, it's not that one. I'm gonna try. That. Try this again. Just yeah, it's helped me kill Mum a bit quicker. I really should have saved up my money thinking about it, just because I could have had a chance of getting Kane on this run as well, but I yeah. so, cannot complain about anything which has happened on this run. Uh, just me, boy. Just a little bit of help there. Hard damage there. Not going to complain, because there's the... Room. Right, so here we go. We're on to Mum's room. Not Mum's room, we are actually fighting war. Death, death. Look at that. Oh, got killed, dead. Um, so that sounds a bug to us. Quite a destroyed there. We've got another angel room. We've got <laughs> fourth level meat boy. Wow. Scap, you know, not play like I say it's just a case of running quickly now um, compass would be nice ideally but I'm gonna guess this bottom right ready line up and push uh, might be wrong here but <laughs> oh dear I just honestly don't know what to say The only way this could have gone better is if I had a nice big cake. But I haven't got a cake. So this will have to do. But this has to be one of the most comfortable runs probably anyone has ever had on the Binding of Isaac. 
I can't imagine you can get too many better items than this. To be honest, I just don't know what items you'd get which would make this any easier. Um, two, three shot and bosses. Quite easily got the damage to take Mum down in a few hits. You know, it's, there's not much which can make this easier. Money wise, it doesn't matter. I don't need money. Um, I'm just going to take a shortcut from here. One shot and greed, that's never a problem. And we're going to go, have to go up the top. It's going to be right at the bottom, but again. Uh, do you want to break? Okay, you don't want to break. Um, oh, I've got to go all the way around. It's going to take absolutely forever. Might be a hint of sarcasm there, but we're going to kill these flies and pew pew. Go on, pew stuff. Thank you. Me boy, dead. Um, <laughs> double Duke of Flies dead in one hit. I would love to try this on, you know, some big bosses to be honest, because I can't honestly see how I could get a much better run, even if I tried. It's just unreal damage. I don't even need Meat Boy to do anything, he's just casually taking a stroll, loving life, Get, getting some some meat in him. No, that kind of meat, he's not loving life that much, but. Yeah. Whoa, what was going on there? Um, hello? Yeah. I honestly thought on the last one the game was going to bug out because. It just stopped. I think I killed him too quickly. The game just didn't like it. He had to make me wait and sweat. Oh, don't go in there. Come on. Come on. There you go. So, here we go. A couple of hits is going to be all it takes. Ready? Bam, 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 bam. How am I not killing that boy? Done. Look at that. I can actually go to the next level. I didn't realise that. So we are going to go to the next level, which is Sh Shelf, I believe. Got the Book of Belial. And onwards we go. This is this has been an amazing, absolutely amazing run. So I'm not going to complain about anything which happens now. And I can imagine we are going to complete most of what... Yeah, which we are going to complete as much as we can. You know, Meat Boy's doing his stuff, he's not, he's not doing too much, but you can't complain. Now, the only thing I can complain about is that it's difficult to hit with that, but... Like I say, that'd be very picky. Oh, and... Well, thankfully, um... Oh, it's Kane as well, look at this run! Oh my god, Kane! Um... Lucky fur, oh, it's all going on, it's all going on, and we're going to one shot bosses again, and dead. Um, well, it's quite lucky because I was heading up this way anyway, so, Krampus, Love life, well, maybe not because he's dead, but, come me, boy, do your thing, there we go, I'll get him, don't worry, speed down, oh no, disaster, like I say, just, cannot complain. Nice little, although it's not a massive collection of familiars, it's a nice collection of familiars, you know. Meat Boy and Peep's Eye. Meat Boy you can never complain at, especially this level of Meat Boy, but yeah, it's just a nice, make your life that a little bit easier. And just takes, take a few bombs in the face, doesn't matter. Does not matter. And here we go. We are going to face Satan under the shield, but Do you have to blow him up first. Satan isn't too tough. No face Satan before. Can't imagine it gets too much easier. Fight, mum. There's the first. 
Um, I honestly have no idea how awesome that run has been. But, yeah, thanks guys and girls for watching. We, we've got past Mum's heart, we've got past Satan. And I think one of the most comfortable, easiest runs you'll ever see in a Binding of Isaac video. So, I'll upload some more videos like I said, but enjoy for now. Bye.